So yeah. first of all, IVI's cholera program has two major goals, which we've had for a while. The as the originators of the OCV technology transfer, first to Shankal and then to create UVCall, we remain quite committed to the idea of ensuring um, global supply and support to the current manufacturers. Um, our other major goal is around generating evidence for rational use of the vaccine. So first, with regard to supply, it's been uh, discussed a bit today. Um, a few years ago, um, after the successful tech transfer to Shanta and then New Biologics, IVI engaged a company in Bangladesh and SEPTA and uh, did a tech transfer. And we continue to support them and anticipate registration of their product, Colvax, so hopefully within the next year. Um, I think they will remain for uh, a, at least a while a national supply uh, for Bangladesh, which has a considerable need, so it's a, an important step. Um, but maybe not to solve the broader global supply issue. Um, we have also just begun this year a new tech transfer to a government of India manufacturing entity called Bibcall. And literally this just started last month. Um, and we would be optimistic that within five to six years, uh, that company could again be a supplier of vaccine, um, but again more directly for India itself as opposed to adding to the global supply. <clears throat> we have a number of other ways that we support the manufacturers, and the, because of time, the other one I'll just mention is about the UV call and the CTC. So, as was mentioned, Shankal has a CTC label which enables it to be used outside of cold chain for a, a period of time. And we are working with uh, UBiologics in do, helping them with the analysis of their thermal stability data so they too can um, achieve a CTC label which will uh, improve and ease uh, delivery of the vaccine. Um, with regard then to uh, generating evidence, um, we have a number of projects, which you can see in the bottom uh, right corner there. Uh, the first of which is a policy and economic research led by Vital Mogasale, who is working on modeling an impact of uh, the ending cholera roadmap. And I think there are folks here who are part of his technical advisory committee. And Vital tells me that uh, they should have some results to share within the next six months on that particular effort. We have two cost effectiveness studies which are ongoing. The first is SEMA, which is in Malawi, and I'm, I'm not gonna describe that. Um, Andrea Hasselbach from IVI will talk about that in the research meeting on Wednesday. Uh, the other project uh, we call MOCA, which is in uh, Mozambique. This is funded by COICA. So COICA is the Korean Overseas Development Agency. And let me briefly tell you about that project and then a follow-on activity which will uh, be an extension of that work in Mozambique and an ex a new country, which is Nepal. So the ongoing activity um, it, called MOCA, you can see the goal there. And uh, the key activities included an OCV campaign which targeted 180,000 individuals in Coamba, a recognized hotspot in Mozambique, and used UV Call Plus. Uh, this was completed back in August of 2018, but concurrent with the uh, campaign and the planning for the campaign was a capacity building effort targeting diarrheal disease surveillance in Kowamba, strengthening their laboratory, uh, as well as a WASH activity, which was led by our WASH partner there, which is WaterAid. In addition, there's a health economic component, uh, and there is an ongoing cost of illness study as well as the delivery cost. So in the end, what we hope, there'll be two more years of, uh, or two years follow-up post the vaccination campaign, is that we will have a fairly comprehensive look at um, cost effectiveness of that type of vaccine, a vac a vaccination campaign, at least in Coamba. <clears throat> um, now we are, as I mentioned, planning um, uh, some extension of that work, and this is the first of that part. It's a new project which we'll call ECHO. And it will uh, also be funded by COICA. And the component in Mozambique um, will really be something quite similar to the first round. Um, we will have, uh, together with our partners there, um, two additional OCV campaigns, most likely in Nampula and Niasa targeting about 300,000 individuals. And like our previous um, effort there, there will be a complementary capacity building in diarrheal disease surveillance, uh, as well um, uh, as a WASH activity with a partner. This, uh, this 
project is still in planning phase and of course together with our, our partners in Mozambique so there may be some adjustments as they are now uh, recovering from the other campaigns they've done uh, related to the cyclone so we'll we will uh, continue to discuss this the other new project for us um, also called echo but will take place in Nepal um, the goal